Hello, my friends. We are here in Pigeon Forge. We're not going to stop in Pigeon Forge today, but we're actually going to go to Gatlinburg and do a walk around and see some sights while we're there. But yeah, we are in Pigeon Forge. And it's been a while since I've been back to Gatlinburg. It's been about six years. Yeah, I had my 50th uh, birthday here. And we had a blast. So I'm here very early. And I'm going to try to get some breakfast. And uh, I'm going to check and see if the pancake place is open right down the street. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm here very early. And you see the white car over there? Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> That's how early I am in Gatlinburg. Yeah, this is where the Anakista is. Right over here. Check out the uh, family of bears here, sitting in the chair on the lift, ready to go up. Get the kids on his arms, get his camera, ready to take some pictures. Yeah, they're not even open yet. They're not even, <laughs> they're not even lying here. Um, but yeah, this is Anakista. This is new to me anyway. And uh, walk over here real quick, check it out. Like I said, I'm here super duper early. Might see some bears, you know, walking around town. And, uh, which that has happened, <laughs> but uh, here's Aunt Anakista here. You go up the the car here and go all the way to the top. Yeah, there you go, little ski lift, and that sucker goes straight up. There it is. Then across the street is the aquarium, and I do recommend going there if you've never been. I've been there a bunch of times. Like, I mean, I go there every time I'm here in Gatlinburg. Probably not today, but uh, but yeah, be sure to check it out. And you got some restaurants over here. People are slowly making their way in, and there's Margaritaville right over there. And it's a bit nippy. It's about 47 degrees, so it's a little cold this morning. But uh, I'm gonna go see if the pancake place is uh, serving right now. I I need some food and and a bunch of coffee. And I love the little creek going through town. Yeah, they have trolleys too, so here's your trolley stop right here. Also, not that you'll ever pay attention to it, but you have these right here to tell you where things are, uh, what road goes to what. Yeah, here's a little back road here. But well, we're heading down this way, and there's the old mountain mall. Here comes a school bus. Right there, on butt. And here is Beauregard right here in front of the mall. Established in 1978. Hey, Bo. I think he's, it looks like he's just waking up. Yeah, it's a Wednesday and uh, it's the middle of the week, so it's probably not going to be busy at all here. When I was coming in town, a lot of the hotels look basically empty as far as the parking lots go. So, and again, I'm here real early too. Not even time for these stores to even open. I might be here for, for a few hours anyway, and they'll be open. Uh, there's a couple places I want to stop by. And go into and pick up before I go home. There's another, I wonder if that's Beauregard's uh, brother. They look kind of the same. Yeah, welcome you to the mall. But we're gonna go up this way and uh, get some breakfast because there it is the pancake pantry. And uh, I think they're open this early. We'll definitely go in and check it out. Well, Yes, we're not going in. We'll be closed May 2nd and 3rd for building or upgrade. So, well, that that bites it. <laughs> Man, I really wanted to go here, too. Yeah, they open at uh, 7 a.m., but uh, not today, folks. I do apologize. Wish we could do it. Um, but there are a few places down here we'll check out that should be open for breakfast. 
then hit here's this is one of my favorite places right here the village we're gonna go back in there but I'm, I'm gonna grab some breakfast before I do yeah I love this area of Gatlinburg this little area here you walk into cool shops and you've also got let me show you over here and here it is the donut fryer I'm gonna come back here they they actually open at 5 a.m. so I'm gonna come back here and get some coffee but I need to get some a real breakfast sit down and enjoy it but look at all these beautiful shops here I just love this whole area right in, back in here kind of tucked away got the fountain going on it's a beautiful morning too and then over here too they have signs to tell you where other stores are as well there you go right there so we're gonna come back and walk around more and this unfortunately is where the uh, fire happened a few months back and it's completely gone and uh, I remember there was a the little bazaar there had all kinds of swords and stuff I actually bought my uh, Bilbo's sword the sting sword also got Layla's daggers there but yeah it's gone that's where it used to be and this right here I believe it used to be a McDonald's I know along here somewhere they also had a Shoney's along here a while back and that's gone too but uh, yeah we're heading this way gonna find a place to eat and this here's a new lift here going in their new uh, station tulip tower and sky trail so, yeah that sucker goes straight up and here's Ripley's right here Got escape games right here too uh, last time I was here that wasn't there that uh, facade was a lot different yeah six years ago it's changed quite a bit but it looks great check out all the animals on the side there crawling through the woodwork I love that I love the raccoons crawling around the sign I love this here too the globe just slowly spinning around just from its weight right on the water yeah, it's pretty neat. And down this way, we'll find something to eat soon, but it's enjoying all the changes. And the possums and the raccoons, I love that. That's great. You get the fox up there playing the banjo. Pretty cool. And you get the, I think it's the 3D motion type movie theater. And there's a dinosaur. I don't think he's awake yet. Or he's just sleepwalking. But this is the 5D theater right here. And that's which you sit in to enjoy the uh, 3D effects. Then right next door is Ripley's Haunted Adventure. And a little tidbit about this. My nephew designed that for them. That's what he does for a living. He does a lot of amusement park attractions and a lot of designs. But yeah, this is one of his projects. He's actually, he sent me a message last night and he's actually in Pigeon Forge working on another project. And you get the star cars here too. Yeah, pretty cool. They change them out every now and then, too. And here is the Gatlinburg, Tennessee Convention Center. Love the bears on top of Gatlinburg right there. But yeah, here's their convention center. They got like Christmas shows, uh, just all kinds of events go through here. I'm sure comic shows, things like that, comic books, toy collection shows, you name it, they'll probably have it here. But, uh, yeah, here's right in the center of downtown, right here. I'll start picking up really soon, I'm sure. But uh, it is a Wednesday, so but not. I don't expect it to be crazy busy. But uh, right down here is Flap uh, Flapjacks, so we're gonna see if they're open for breakfast. I would imagine they are, with a name like Flapjacks. And they do have a Shoney's here, and have those pigeons on top landing. But yeah, Shoney's used to have an awesome breakfast buffet. And I don't think they do now, though. Um, there's like no one in there. So, but yeah, flap, flapjacks down here. I'm gonna go down there. And I stand corrected. They do have a buffet in there. It looks like at the top. So we're in flapjacks, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any pancakes or anything. But uh, let me show you the inside. And here's their menu right here. I'll have their information description too, but I am starving and I need my coffee. And here's my breakfast. Get the uh, two eggs over easy, bacon, and hash browns. And flapjacks is really good. 
just a simple breakfast that's all i needed i didn't get any uh, pancakes which are actually well known for too as well but yeah just a simple breakfast did good filled me up so we're heading down this way just take my time walking around it's not crowded at all and here is the ober right here they've changed the name i think yes yeah, ober mountain now so yeah this is uh a great place to come go up the lift and they have like a small little zoo up there too with the bears and some other animals as well at the very top and they get also the uh, slide and I'll sh let me show you over here get the alpine slide but here's all the other stuff that's in there you kind of go back in time when you go inside there and uh see what it looks like but it's temporarily closed right now uh doesn't open back up till may 5th like i said they're off season right now so here you go alpine slide one that's a one seater then you get the two seater right there um but yeah be sure to check it out if you're ever here then across the street is a smoky mountain restaurant right over there i love the statues out front too you got calhoun's right here best ribs in town but uh i'm just gonna walk around and check out some of the stores and uh some of the stores of course won't let you film in there which i understand um no problem but uh and if you ever come here <laughs> there's so much shopping to do and so many places to eat it's luigi's pizzas and euros and a church right here too yeah head down this way love that stained glass there too that's really nice sugarland chapel is what it's called and this is cumberland jack's farm fresh kitchen right here la conti kitchen love the timber that's pretty cool yeah a lot of you go in there too it kind of tells you the net why they're called what they're called and uh, i think cumberland jack wasn't he a dog i think he was let me say over here yeah there's cumberland he's the he's got a whole history about him too there he is old cumberland jack there he is so inside you go inside he has all the history in there too you can read while you're waiting for your table yeah pretty cool dog and there's a, the black bear inn and sweets across the street then over here's crockett's breakfast camp that looks really nice i love that the theming is amazing and i love that iron skillet that, that'll cook a lot of eggs and, and um, tons of pancakes and right here you see where the ober goes across all the way up top of the mountain there it's a fun ride so i do encourage you guys to go on the uh, ober while you're here y'all better hurry up and get here um yeah, this is going to fill up pretty soon. So you, you better get here real soon. And this is also my favorite steakhouse right here in Gallenberg. The Peddler Steakhouse. Oh, man, it's amazing. I mean, they, they've always cooked the perfect steak for me. Prime rib is amazing. Also, if you go in there, too, and get the salad bar, it's massive and it's huge. And they got a great selection on their salad bar. I'm going to go down here and uh, look at the river. This is really nice through here. And uh, yeah, it goes all the way through here. And uh, it's just beautiful. And if you're waiting for your table, you can come out here and sit on a bench and, and enjoy it. The water as it goes by. And the cool thing too, if you want to try to get a seat right here on the little balcony thing, we can eat just right over as the water flows by. You know, nice babbling brook. Um, this gets crazy high if you get real bad storms. It's nuts. But uh, yeah, this is really, really nice. And there is trout here. Yeah, and these waters. Just remember, tomorrow's Thursday. So, no fishing. And here's where your journey begins when you take the Uber up. Yeah, the tram goes up this way. And it's a long track. You go right over the restaurant here. And this restaurant, I really like too. It's uh, the Bennett's Pit Barbecue. Very good barbecue. And I've uh, been here a few times. And then Big Daddy's Wood Fire Pizza Brick Oven is in there too. So you got a choice between barbecue and pizza. Tucked away behind the Bennett's Barbecue restaurant is this Econo Lodge Inn and Suites right here. And it's running along the river here. Check this out, this is beautiful. You got another little hotel there too. Great place to have your room and just leave, you know, leave the door open up there and let the water go by. Yeah, it'll put you to sleep big time. But this is great, love this.
And you'll see a lot of these in Gatlinburg right here, the old time portraits. Yeah, they're all over the place here. But we're heading back this way to see more of Gatlinburg. And of course, you gotta get a shot of the Gatlinburg Space Needle. There it is right there. Been up there a few times and uh, get some awesome views too. And this is Parkway Gifts. And of course, you're gonna see your bears here. They're great to bring home with you too. But yeah, here's our shop. Of course, they're not open yet. I'm early, but Parkway Gifts is right here. And there's a Starbucks, which I've been in that one many times. I used to visit here quite a bit. There's Paula Dean store with all her kitchen accessories. And the next door is Mellow Mushroom. They make some awesome pizza. And Mellow Mushroom always have some really cool stuff inside. But they got this guy outside to greet you as you go in and get your pizza. The one thing I want to do today is definitely pick up some of my old smoky Tennessee moonshine before I leave. I love the apple pie. And that's probably what we're going to pick up before we leave. Some apple pie moonshine. And if you want to get treated like crap but have some good food, come to Dick's Last Resort. Right here. Yeah, here is uh, where a lot of other shops are. But mainly, it's uh, you get the winery here now too. But it's old smoky Tennessee moonshine. I love this here. But they also have a stage back here. They'll have live music during the day. It's really nice. Just come out here and relax. Gotta find out what time they uh, open up so I can yeah, pick up after your dog. But yeah, I gotta find out when they open so I can get my moonshine while I'm here. But isn't this great? Look at the seating area here. Of course, you get your brochure station right there. Let you know what's going on. But uh, yeah, you can also come here and get samples too. And my favorite is the uh, apple pie. So when they open, yeah, I'm going to grab a bottle of that and bring it home. So right here, they do have the entertainment board, so it tells you who's playing, what times, and stuff like that. Yeah, there it is right there in the wall. And in the very back, they do have restrooms. They do have an elevator. You can go up, but it's upstairs here. So if you need to use the restroom, it's right here, right near the stage. And I don't think this was here last time I was here six years ago. This is a Sugarland or Sugar Lands Distilling Company. Yeah, so this looks pretty cool. It says number one thing to do in Gatlinburg. Oh, uh, yeah, peanut butter flavor. Uh, also, moonshine. Here, look at some moonshine. But uh, yeah, here's their distillery here. Check that out. That's pretty cool. And traffic is slowly starting to pick up. And there's Ripley's, believe it or not, right there. And this Red Bull. About to get a ticket. And this is where they're building the new Skylift Park right here. Yeah, slowly but surely getting that uh, structure done. And you're going to go straight up that mountain right there. So I'm gonna head down here. This is uh, the Gatlinburg Inn. Which I say the famous historic Gatlinburg Inn. Yeah, and here is where Rocky Top, Tennessee was written. Right over here. You got you stay in the room too where they wrote the song. That's pretty neat that you could do that. So we're gonna head down this way and see more of Gatlinburg. And this is where the fire happened right here a couple months ago. And uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna do with it. Maybe I'm, I've heard they're gonna rebuild. So it'd be interesting to see what they do build here and what it looks like. And it's crazy how quiet it is here. Yeah, it's very quiet. Um, this is probably off season. Probably for the week. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to pick back up right when Friday gets here. Boom. It'll, it'll get slammed again. And uh, I just like walking around and seeing all the stores and uh, the shops here. Just we can go in and not worry about being shoulder to shoulder with people. And they're slowly but surely getting the uh, stock filled up. So they have trucks parked outside of each of the stores getting new inventory. And just doing a little window shopping too. Looking at these uh, different glass statues and the pewter statues. I love that dragon there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, at least you can just stand around and look at stuff just like this. Take your time. Don't feel rushed. Get your bears, your bears, uh, salt and pepper shakers. And this is Glass Blowers of Gatlinburg right here. So everything's handmade inside. So yeah, you can literally just window shop and don't feel rushed jewelry store there established 1989 
in this Guy Fieri. It's a new place called Chicken Guy right here. Yeah, I'm guessing that Guy Fieri loves his chicken. And they have upstairs eating as well. And, uh, yeah, of course, they're not open just yet. Then open until 11 o'clock. Get you ready for lunch. Still heading down this way. And there's the uh, Reagan Terrace Mall right over there. Got some cool little shops. We'll be able to I'll walk around over there too. I'm just going to go up and down each side of the uh, main street. And that is Tennessee Stud Cider Company right there. That is where World of Illusions used to be at one time. It is no longer there. It's now a place you get it, your hard cider. And right behind Reagan Terrace Mall, if you haven't noticed, you got a putt putt course up there on the top of that hill. Yeah right behind there so be sure to check that out and it looks like they have a climbing rig thing here too that you can do as well just wanted to show you that golf course the mini golf course up here on the side of the hill this is pretty cool we'll walk up here real quick you'll you'll get your workout walking up these steps yeah this is right here there's y'all schoolhouse up there too at the top yeah here it is so be sure to check it out if you like playing mini golf they got this up here on the side of the hill. Got games over here too. I love that Japanese maple tree right there. It's beautiful. But yeah, right here they got laser tag, escape games. They got bumper cars too. Of course, the mini golf. You saw over here. Then over here, it says book your adventure. Rugged ropes. Yeah, Gatlin's rugged ropes right here. Even mermaids like to play putt-putt. I want to get this shot of the Reagan Terrace Mall right here. It's really nice. Yeah. Got all kinds of stores here. And yeah, if you go up these steps here, this is where the mini golf is and all the other games. And here's Fanny's Corner Kitchen. Fresh dip corn dogs right here. Yeah, you can get your corn dog right here. Your sodas, things like that. You also get like shaved ice with different flavors. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. And here. They also have cheese steaks, and it looks like they're getting stuff cooking right now, getting stuff together. All fresh onions and peppers and sausages right there. Yeah, yummy. Well, we're heading back down this way. And, uh, well, there's another, um, let's see, this is Old Smokey's Moonshine here, too. So, they're closer to where I'm going to be, so I might come in here and get my apple pie and moonshine. I don't want down here. Yeah, they're doing some new construction here too right next to the village and I do want to walk over there too in the marketplace and check that out as well so when you do come into the village they do have a sign here that tells you where everything's at they're all numbered and here are the store names of those uh, numbered on the map right there and as you walk into the village they do have these brochures so you can have a souvenir but also tell you a little bit about about each of the shops so be sure to grab this as you walk into the village it's right here to the side yeah here's the entrance right here that's gonna be right there and uh, yeah walk in there and uh, check out all these wonderful stores you know, it's like little places like this little nooks and crannies that you can walk through to explore and they get a bunch of great shops all back in here yeah just like a little English village tucked away back in here yeah okay. there's the silver tree so a lot of these shops have remained here for a very long time it's a great location for them I love that place too the Celtic pub there yeah escape games old gaming shop and the sun's coming up and yeah over here where the sign is it says to use the side door so I'm gonna walk over here and go inside and get some coffee and then right along this wall here, you get all your swag. Check out the Donut Fryer sweatshirt. That's awesome. And all the coffee mugs. And as you walk in, you smell the donuts that they're making over here. More coffee mugs and tumblers. But here's the inside. Oh, you get a magnet too, which I'm probably going to get and bring home. But yeah, here's the inside. People lined up getting their coffee and their donuts. I'm going to pick up this magnet too. This is great. Like $8. And I saw this here. The cinnamon bread right here for $8.75 made right here in the store and I'm gonna bring that home with me. 
and here's your donuts and other goodies. Right here, you can go with your coffee. But she's You're getting a bread, honey. Yeah, she's You're grabbing me a, okay. a loaf of that a cinnamon bread. And here's some more donuts. So I got my coffee at the Donut Fryer, regular coffee. And I got my bread, and I've also got a cool magnet from their store. I love coming here. I'm just going to sit down and relax and enjoy my coffee. Something to remember too, if you go in the donut fryer, they only take cash. So just remember that to have cash with you. And there's plenty of ATMs around. So yeah, just make sure you have some Washingtons and Lincolns. And they have these style trash cans because of bears. Yep, they do come into town once in a while. And this is the other part of the village back here. Some more shops. Yeah, it's real, I mean, it's super nice back here. I love it. It's almost reminds me of like a little Harry Potter village. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love, oh, I love that right there. That's nice. But yeah, I love coming back here, walking around and enjoying all these little buildings they have back here. It's very nice. And as you walk back here in the village, right here, this building, you have the public restrooms. So you gotta go. You can find them back here in the back of the village. This is one of my favorite stores in the village called Celtic Heritage. Fine gifts from Ireland and Scotland and Wales. It's the real deal too. So if you're into heritage, you're about your family, things like that, definitely stop by and uh, see this store. They got stuff that you can bring home that represent your family, like your surname, things like that, your, your tartan, your family colors. I think they also have uh, kilts in there too. I'm not quite sure. I can't, I can't remember. It's been a while, but I just love this store. So be sure to check it out when you're in Gatlinburg. This is Baskin's Square, unique shops and restaurants. I'm gonna walk back here and uh, see what they have. Kind of do a quick walk through the Potter and the Park. Best of the Smokies. And a magic shop back here too. Might have to pop it there and check it out. New Orleans Sandwich Company is back here. Yeah, so once you look at everything, they got it upstairs. So the magic shop is upstairs. Not sure if they're open. I'm just do a quick little walk around. And there's public restrooms back here too. So they do have a lot of facilities for restrooms. So that's nice to know. So yeah, and it's right across the street from the village. So yeah, Doc Waddell's magic shop. Here you go. It's a cool display they have in the front. Got Emmett Kelly doll there and then also the wizard and this magic rabbit just want to get a shot of this from upstairs yeah there's the village right over there yeah this cool shot right here so yeah Tissy Jed's has this really nice seating area outside and uh, it says brunch coffee and craft sandwiches and back in here this is called the marketplace more quaint shops yeah walk back here looks like it's got Really cool facades for the storefronts, kind of like the village. This looks pretty new too. I don't remember this being here when I was last year, but that was like six years ago. And I love this building. Check that out. That's really nice. And this one is the Mystic Moon Celtic Ferry here. Very cool. Yeah, they have all kinds of neat little shops back in here. Good water winery. Caramel corn, serving Gatlinburg since 1961. So yeah, walk back here and check all these out. And they do have public restrooms back here too. That's nice. And this is Tom and Earl's Back Alley Grill. Check all the stickers out right there too. That's pretty cool. And then over here is Happy Hippie Lane. Soaps, clothing, and they also have the CBD oil too. You can get a picture right there of the old Volkswagen van. That's pretty neat, but yeah, it's just pretty cool back in here. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of tucked away, too. I that probably live music right there, too, that you can enjoy while you're out here eating. Y'all better hurry up and get down here before that parking lot gets full. It's almost 10 o'clock now. So here is the Gatlinburg's Mystery Mansion right here. They've been working on this for a while. Like the garbage dumped over or something. Maybe a bear gun there. Who knows? But it's got the light fixtures going, kind of in and out and you can see the guy in there in the window 
yeah, looks like they're repairing a lot of the roof and putting the new shingles up. That's really nice. But yeah, I do want to come back here and see this Gatlinburg's Mystery Mansion. And from the videos I've seen, it looks really cool inside too. So yeah, this is neat. Yeah, just don't walk out that door right there because that'll be the last step you take. Yeah, this is really nice. And I like that. It's right here next to the uh, river going through town. And I love the stonework here and the iron fencing. Very nice. But yeah, this is such a cool place to come visit. I've seen past videos and it'll scare the crap out of you. And there's Anakista right up there. And uh, eventually we'll do that too. I just don't have time today to do it. I gotta head back home. But uh, yeah, it's been a nice morning here in Gatlinburg. So yeah, we'll eventually do that. It's a lot to see in town too, for sure. But uh, yep, I love passing through here and I hope you enjoy me walking around town, kind of showing you the town while it's not busy. And I love this old vintage uh, parking sign here. Looks like a motel or hotel used to be right there at one time. They've changed the parking because look up there, it says RCA color TVs. Yeah, for each of your rooms. And down here they would have, tell you the information for vacancy, stuff like that. But that's really neat that that's still there. But now it's an old parking sign. And then they've got the Treasure Quest Golf, glow in the dark, putt putt course inside. And over here is Earthquake the Ride. Or should I say, the legendary Earthquake the Ride. And here's the inside of the Tennessee Stud Cider Company. Yeah, it's really nice what they've done inside there. It's beautiful. So they also have samplers too. You can try out different cider. It, it's hard cider, not uh, apple juice. So I did make it back here to Old Smoky, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Get some of uh, my moonshine. I picked up my apple pie. But yeah, this is the inside here. They got several locations and you also have the sampling area. Got some cool t-shirts too. But yeah, your sampler's over here. But in tons of different t-shirts. A lot of swag that you can pick up. Butter pecan. Yeah, here's what I picked up right here. Yeah. There you go, right there. Yeah. Apple pie. I oh, mean, it's good. Yeah. Yummy. But yeah, they got all kinds of different flavors you can choose from. Try it out. Try it out. Get the dill pickle. <laughs> got peaches here. Cherries right here. Look at all this swag. This is great. And, but the apple pie is just phenomenal. And uh, be sure when you're in Gatlinburg. If you like to try some moonshine you haven't, yeah, they all different flavors. You can try them out here. And this is branded by right here. It's boots, hats, apparel, purses, motorcycle accessories. Cool store. And uh, you can stand right here and smell the leather just pouring out of that door. And here's Mount Mall right here we saw earlier. I'm not going to go inside. I mean, it is a mall and you've seen plenty of videos that are out there on the Mount Mall for sure. A lot of cool stores so be sure to check it out inside it's, plus i'm kind of on time constraint too to walk in there and look at it but there's one more store i'm gonna go in and then i think i'm gonna call it a day here at gatlinburg and the store is actually behind me it's right here buckboard 2 a nostalgic store and there are all kinds of cool stuff in there just give you kind of a quick peek inside I got tons of Funko Pops, tons of different coffee mugs, a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Check that out. The mask over there of the Killer Clowns. Right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You got standees. You got all kinds of cool uh, retro signs here. Check it all out. Here's all your standees right here. Yeah, I love this store. Sometimes you find some really cool stuff. You got ornaments too. And Christmas stuff. But just tons of Funko Pops. We got a lot of Hollywood uh, celebrities there and their photos, movie posters, and again, tons of different masks and dolls, things like that. But just an array of Funko Pops. And I wanted to thank you for joining me here in my little stroll through Gatlinburg. I wish I had more time. We will in the future. We'll come back and visit. I'll have Connie with me. I had to do some traveling this week uh, for some family stuff. So that's why I was up here in this area. I wanted to stop by and see Gatlinburg. And again, I haven't been here since, God, uh, six years. It's been a while. So yeah, I came up here again for my 50th uh, birthday party. So we had we had a cabin, all that stuff. It was really cool. And we were here for the entire week. So once I had that time, I'm gonna do more details 
of the area of Pigeon Forge and Gallenberg. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for some more content coming up really soon. And yeah, you guys take care. Bye-bye.